Hello fourth graders. This is the video for our math unit one lesson six. So go ahead and turn to page 15 of your book and jump on in with me. So um, I know you're in fourth grade. You've done tons of addition over the years. Uh, you're an old hat at this, but we're going to talk about using different methods for addition and it might have been a while since you've really thought about these. So <clears throat> In these problems, we are looking at how you can add 5,879 to 6,754 using each of these different methods. There's the new groups above method, the new groups below method, and the show subtotals method. And sometimes this, uh, you might be more familiar with the show all totals method. In each of these methods, we're talking about what happens when you are adding a certain place value and you end up making a new group of 10, 100, 1000, etc. So as your that looks messy. Um, <clears throat> as you're adding in any place value, it's very possible that you might move beyond that place value, and we just want to make sure that we don't um, do that classic mistake where you have like, uh, let's say you have like a 58 plus uh, 78. If you said, okay, 8 plus 8 is 16, and then uh, 5 plus 7 is 12. This is what we're trying to avoid. So we're just making sure we're not doing anything like that. We're following the rules of place value and putting things in the appropriate column as necessary. So take a look right here. New groups above. This is probably what your parents are most familiar with and many of us uh, prefer this method, but it's basically you add up the ones place, Three stays in the ones place, that new 10 joins the tens place, and then is included as you add up all the tens. So 7 plus 5 would be 12, but then you add one more, so it's another 13. When you have 13 tens, the 10 tens is actually 100, so 1 in the hundreds place right here. 1 plus 8 plus 7, 16, so now you have. Uh, 16 hundreds, the six of the hundreds stays there. The 10 hundreds is really a thousand and joins the thousands place. So then you end up having 12,633. Okay. The new groups below method is nearly identical. The only difference is rather than putting something up here in this space, we put it here on this line. And the reason people like this method is because it's less easy to forget about a new 10 that you've added. And lots of teachers have seen kids put the 10 up there, or the 100 up in the top above, but then they just forget to include it. And so the hope is that by putting it a little closer to what the rest of your uh, math is, you won't forget about it and you'll include it and then your answer will be correct. So. Same thing, 13, 10 joins the tens place, and then another 13, hundreds joins the hundreds place, thousand joins the thousands place, and you get the same answer because these are both two strategies that basically do the same thing. Finally, um, our show subtotals method, similar to the show all totals method, you could go from uh, left to right, but this one's going from right to left. So we have our 9 plus 4, I'll circle that so it's clear what's happening here, and you get 13, you put that there, and then you had your 7 plus 5 right here, 7 tens plus 5 tens is 120, and then you have your 800 plus 700, and so you have 1500, and then here you have your 
uh, 5,000 plus 6,000 and you get your 11,000 and then you go ahead and add all those up. So if you're the kind of person who really hates messing around with putting all these new tens in the next column over, this might be a strategy for you to enjoy because once you've done all these, uh, then you have a more straightforward addition problem with less making new groups or regrouping. Okay. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead, pick a method, and try um, on this problem right here. I'm going to probably do, since there's one for each, I think what I'll do is, there's the most space down here. So I'll do above for this row. Let's label it. We'll do below for this row. And then subtotals for this row. Just to get some practice in, just to make sure we're comfortable with all of these methods. So um, we'll do the first one together. If you're feeling confident, you can go ahead and do the rest of the row and then like pause and hit play and then correct them with me. If you'd like to stay with me, that's totally fine. Eight plus three is 11. So I put my one in my ones place, 10 joins the tens place above. 110 plus 5 tens is 6 tens. And then 900 plus 600 is 1500. Like that. Okay. Next one, number 5. 2 plus 3 is 5 ones. And then 9 plus 4 is 13. My 10 tens joins the hundreds place. And then 100 plus 600 is 700, plus 5 more 100 is 1,200, so my 10 hundreds joins the thousands place. My comma there. Okay. 2 plus 6, 1 is 8. 6 tens plus 4 tens is 10 tens. Make a new group of, so this is called making a new hundred, right? 100 plus 300 is 400, plus 7 more 100 is 1100, so that, uh, that 10 hundreds is a new thousand, so 1000 plus 5000 is 6000, plus 3 more, 9000. So sometimes they'll ask you in, you know, math programs, did you make a new 10? Did you make a new 100? On this one, we didn't make a new 10 but we did make a new hundred and we did make a new thousand, okay? Um, six ones plus five ones is 11, so we're making a new 10. One plus eight, one ten plus eight ten is nine tens, plus three more tens is 12 tens, so it's 120, so a new hundred. 100 plus 700 is 800 plus three more hundred is 1100. That ten hundreds is 1000. So 1000 plus 3000 is 4000 plus 6000. So now we have 10,000. All right, let's go ahead and practice with our new groups below this time. So we're just going to put our new hundreds on that line. I'm going to give myself a little more space right there. So two ones plus six ones is eight. Uh, eight tens plus four tens is 12. And I'm putting the 10 tens right there. Seven 100 plus 200 is 900 plus one more hundred is 10 hundred or 1000 and then 2 plus 5 is 7000 plus one more 8000 all right if you're feeling good about that i want you to try it on the next three and then uh hit play to continue with me um you can stay with me if you'd like so, number nine, three ones plus two ones is five ones, and then nine tens plus six tens is fifteen tens, 
So my 10 tens joins the hundreds place. 200 plus 800 is 10 hundred plus one more 11 hundred. 11 hundred. This is kind of a smaller font. I'm having to really write these quite small. Um, so that 10 hundreds joins the thousands place. And then 6,000 plus 3,000 is 9,000 plus another 1,000 is 10,000. So 10,155. Okay, 9 plus 1 is 10. 2 tens plus 4 tens is 6 tens plus 1 more is 6. Tens. I'm trying to write a little bit smaller this time since so it's not so tight. 700 plus 500 is 1200. The 10 hundreds turns some thousands place. 3000 plus 4000 is 7000 plus one more thousand is 8000. Okay, right here. Six plus five ones is eleven. Nine plus that one is ten. Plus six more is sixteen tens. Eight hundred plus these other two hundreds is ten hundred. So one thousand. And then eight plus three is eleven. Plus one more is twelve. 12,061. Okay, now we're going to practice doing that subtotal strategy that we just talked about. So, 2 plus 9 is 11. 6 plus, or this is important. When you're saying it, make sure you're saying it in the groups that it's in and the place value. So, 6 tens plus three tens is nine tens, so 90, right? That's different than nine. 800 plus 800 is 1,600. And then 7,000 plus 2,000 is 9,000. Then we add these up. One. A new group, see, you still have to kind of do new group anyways. Seven, eight, so 8,701. Then this one, four plus eight, 12, six plus four, six tens plus four tens, 10 tens, so 100. 700 plus 600 is 1300. And then 2000 plus 6000 is 8000. So add all that up. 2, 1, 4, 8, or 9. Oops, 9. 9. Okay. This one right here, five ones plus seven ones is 12, six and two tens is eight tens, so 80. Uh, 800 plus 400 is 1,200, and then 4,000 and 2,000, six, two, nine, two, there you go. And last one here. Eight ones. Uh, Eleven tens. One thousand. Seven plus three hundred. And nine thousand. Oopsie. So my preference, I think, is not this method because I'm finding it harder to keep everything lined up the more things I have um, to work with. 
So, you know, it's okay to have a preference. You just want to know about all of them, but you can have a preference. I have a preference. All right. Here we go. Um, think about how to solve this problem. And then here's the picture. Carlos is saving money to buy a skateboard. He saved $27 one week and $14 the next week. How much did Carlos save all together? And here they have a picture for us. So one thing you could do is you could just go ahead and, you know, do vertical form if you like. You could also count all the ones that you have. See if you make a new bundle of 10 and then add up all your 10s, right? So here, let's see, we have, uh, here's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's a group of 10. And then these are all groups of 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, plus 1. Forty-one. If you just did vertical form, twenty-seven plus fourteen, you get the same thing. Forty-one. There's more than one way to solve that kind of problem. Okay. And then just make sure you're including your dollar sign so people aren't confused if you're talking about dollars or cents. All right. Uh, next one, Robin's grandmother gave her $38 for her birthday, and her uncle gave her $25. How much did Robin get all together? So let's go ahead and just set that up in vertical form, why don't we? 38 plus 25, 8 plus 5 is 13, and 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6, so 63. Make sure you're including your label of a dollar sign there. All right. A parent teacher club sold baked goods to raise money for the school. They collected $268 on Friday and $479 on Saturday. How much did they collect all together? So if we have 268 plus 479, 8 plus 9, 17, 6 plus 7 plus 1, 14, 200 plus 400, 600 plus one more, 700, so $747. All right, that's it for this uh, lesson. Go ahead and uh, check to see if you have any assignments. All right, bye guys.